Welcome to Good Night Tales. Once upon a time, deep in the heart of a jungle, there lived a proud tiger named Rex. He was feared and respected by all the animals for his strength, speed, and fierce roar. Rex ruled the jungle with confidence, believing himself to be the wisest of all creatures. In a nearby village, there lived a humble donkey named Dinku. Dinku worked hard every day, carrying loads for his master and helping around the farm. Though he was often made fun of by the other animals for being slow and simple-minded, Dinku never complained. One hot afternoon, Rex the tiger was prowling near the edge of the jungle when he spotted Dinku grazing peacefully in a meadow. Bored and looking for some amusement, Rex decided to approach the donkey and play a little trick on him. Rex slinked over to Dinku and said, Hello there, donkey. What are you eating? I'm eating grass, tiger. The green fresh grass here in the meadow. Grass, you fool. This grass is blue, not green. Anyone with eyes can see that. But, tiger, everyone knows that grass is green. Look around. It's the color of the trees and the fields. I say the grass is blue, and since I am the king of the jungle, I must be right. Dinku scratched his head, confused but not wanting to argue. Well, tiger, you may be the king, but I've always known grass to be green. Perhaps there's been a mistake. X, enjoying the game, decided to take it further. No, donkey, you are wrong. The grass is blue, and if you dare to argue with me, I will take you to the lion, the wise judge of the jungle, and we will see who is right. Dinku, though nervous, believed in the truth. Fine, let's go see the lion, he will know. So, the two animals made their way deep into the jungle to meet the lion, who was known for his fairness and wisdom. When they arrived, Rex puffed out his chest and said, O oh, wise lion, we have a dispute. I, the great tiger, say that the grass is blue, but this foolish donkey insists that it is green. Please settle this matter. The lion, sitting majestically on his rock, looked at both Rex and Dinku. After a long pause, the lion spoke in a calm voice. The grass is indeed blue. The lion declared. Rex roared in triumph. You see, donkey, even the lion agrees with me. But before Rex could gloat further, the lion continued. However, Rex, for bullying this donkey and forcing him into a pointless argument, I hereby sentence you to silence for one whole week. Rex's smile disappeared. But, but, why? It's not about the color of the grass, Rex. It's about how you used your power to humiliate and mock someone who was only speaking the truth. For this, you will be punished. Dinku, still a bit confused, watched as Rex lowered his head in shame and slunk away, unable to protest. The lion then turned to Dinku and said, As for you, donkey, the grass is, of course, green. But sometimes, when dealing with those who only want to prove themselves right, it's better to stay silent than to engage in foolish arguments. Dinku nodded, understanding the wisdom in the lion's words. From that day on, Rex learned to be more humble, and Dinku realized that not every argument is worth fighting over, especially when the truth speaks for itself. Moral of the story, it's better to be wise and calm than to win pointless arguments. Power should never be used to bully others, and sometimes, silence is the best response to foolishness.